Western New York United Against Drug and Alcohol Abuse impacts thousands of community members each year with their community services, coalitions, and wide-ranging activities, also known as environmental strategies. Today, Beth and Kate are here to share some of the details about Western New York United's comprehensive campaigns here in the community. I'm here today with Beth Anzalone, Executive Director of West New York United, and Kate Chadoba, who is the Marketing and Communications Director. Thank you both so much for joining me on the Sweet Buffalo Show today. Thanks for having Thanks us. Thanks for having us. So how do environmental strategies help support our community? Sure. So environmental strategies really reflect what's happening in the community. Those are our messages that the kids are hearing in the school and then we bring them out into the community. So we wrap it around and we really make it a comprehensive messaging program. So environmental strategies, you know, we include newsletters, we um, information dissemination, social media, our website, um, and then as well as community coalitions and other, you know, special events and things that we hold to promote Western New York United and get our messaging out. And how does social media play a role in, in preventing substance abuse and, and all the work that you do at Western New York United? So um, as everybody knows, everybody carries a smartphone and usually in their hand. Um, so everybody is on social media. The amount of people who carry a smartphone is astronomical including kids, eight, young as 10 years old, they're all getting on social media. So we're using social media as a way of reaching parents, as a way of reaching the senior community, as well as reaching our youth. So it's really another form of information dissemination that we're able to use. Um, we have Facebook, okay. Instagram, and Twitter that we try to use to get information out into the community. And do you do any creative things to get that information out to these young people that are on TikTok and Instagram and all those platforms? So we're not on TikTok yet, um, but Instagram and, and Twitter, Facebook, we're really um, focusing on just a lot of branding messaging as well as then some just some basic information about statistics, um, things that you want to be part of, don't want to be part of. You know, we try to put out a positive message in all of everything we do. So what is a community coalition and how does Western New York United work alongside other organizations to share your mission? Okay, good question. So our community coalitions consist of different sectors of people in the community. So we want to um, work with business people. We want to work with media people. We want to work with the clergy or the faith community. Um, we want to gather as many people as, and as many sectors as we can to sit around a table and discuss what's happening in their community when it comes to drugs and alcohol. So we work and serve on, I believe, four different coalitions that um, in the community. And then we've added a new one, the Hamburg Drug Free Community, just recently um, to be a part of. And we know that when you work together, many hands make light work, number one, but also when you work with the total community, the messaging is consistent. And so what they're hearing in the community and what they're hearing in the schools kind of comes together and we're educating everybody at the same time. So our coalitions are a really big part of our environmental strategies. So collaboration seems to be incredibly important to you. So Absolutely. Anyone watching right now that wants to help, you would love it if they reached out. Absolutely. Yes. So what are parent awareness forums and what is your team doing to engage parents with Western New York United? Sure. So in our um, suburban school districts, part of our contract is to provide parent forums for them. Basically, it's an hour to an hour and a half program where we have parents come in and they have to sit through what we call the signs and symptoms of drug and alcohol abuse, as well as social media awareness. So we partner with the Erie County Sheriff's Office who talk about what's happening in the community, what they're seeing and any of those issues. We have the school SRO come in and he talks about what he's seeing in the school, what kids are being caught with or caught doing. And then I do a whole social media awareness piece where um, what parents really need to know about social media and how to keep their kids safe on social media. So um, in all of those districts, it is required for parents to come. And um, if they don't come, the kids usually cannot participate in extracurricular activities, go to dances, those kinds of things. So it's an hour out of their night um, that we ask for. We usually do one in the fall and one in the spring. But if you're school doesn't provide a forum, you can come to any of them. They're listed on our website. You can come and get this information. We will gladly share it with you. Um, and we just want parents to be educated and be aware. So, and you know what's really interesting, I'm sorry, is that when they come, they're a little hesitant and sometimes not always excited to be there. 
But by the time they leave, they are very appreciative and thankful for the information that they received because a lot of them don't know. So we're able to provide that information for them. And I think that's important to say, because if you talk to a parent in a community and, and they say, oh, one more night I have to go out and I've got to do something at my child's school, it's a lot. And parents are going, you know, have a lot to do. So I think, though, the end result is really um, a great thing and they're very appreciative for the information. I believe it. It's probably, you know, enlightening to them to learn about things that they didn't know before, um, what to look out for when they're, when they're kids. Because a lot of kids come home and, you know, they come home and they do their homework, but there might be some, right. you know, signs yes. that they need to look out for. Exactly. Right. What they don't know, they don't know. So it's our job to teach them about those things because this is our world. We live in it every day. We can really help them navigate those questions, what to look for, those kinds of things. That's where we come in and that's how we can help them. Why is it so important for parents to lean into participation? Oh, we need parents to be engaged daily with their kids' lives. Um, they need to be aware of, of everything that's happening. You need to be asking open-ended questions. You need to be really concentrating on what the kids are up to because with the evolution of social media, with you know the internet, kids are exposed to everything. And parents, again, what they don't know, they don't know because many parents don't use social media or many parents aren't using the internet. But we need to be aware that kids are exposed and kids are learning things. So if they're not learning it from their parent, they're learning it from someone else. And most parents want the, their children to hear it from them and not from somebody else, so. Absolutely, and you guys have a lot of summer events planned? Um, we start off with our summer leaders and training program. So right now we're at um, Buffalo Public School number 67, Discovery School. We have 60 students from our partner buildings from Lakeshore um, and Frontier, Maryvale, and then our nine Buffalo Public Schools. And they're there every day from nine to noon. Um, and we're working on those social emotional skills. We're working on supporting them academically. And then we're building friendships and memories and providing them with opportunities that some of these kids might not ever have. So we're really busy with that during summer. And then Kate has a big event coming up that I'll let her talk about. So it is our 19th annual Drive Against Drugs golf tournament on August 7th at the Orchard Park Country Club. Um, we have just about two foursomes remaining. So if you want to get in, don't delay, get, get in. I uh, cut off is the 20th. So uh, we sell out every year. So it's a great event. We raise money um, to support the agency. And really any money that we raise stays within our agency and it goes to our programming, whether it's buying supplies, whether it's sending a kid on a field trip, it's not. It's used for the right reasons for us, so. So when you make a donation, you definitely make an impact in a child's for life. Sure. Many yep. children, actually. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thanks Thank for you. Us. For more information on Western New York United, visit wnyunited.org.